there's always be perceived to be a gap in quality between the two hemispheres. The this Lions tour, given that New Zealand are this all-conquering team, proved that that gap is narrowing slightly, in I suppose, in terms of individual player ability as opposed um, to teams. I, I think, well, the short answer is yes, the gap is narrowing. Um, but it's probably been narrowing for a while, you know, if you go through to the last World Cup even, you know. Um, yeah. Like, I think the gaps are closing. And the problem, probably, in looking at that is New Zealand are a little bit separate than everybody else. You know, let's be honest, they are a cut above. So it's kind of like Northern Hemisphere, Southern yeah. Hemisphere in New Zealand. Yeah, they, they, are, they are the best team in the world and have been. And going back to the Lions series, I think they would, they'd be kicking themselves. They didn't deliver it as they wanted to. It would be interesting to see how they go in the Rugby Championship in the summer now. Mm. You know, how they deliver over that tournament. So, yeah, I think New Zealand are a cut. But... South Africa have been through their problems. I mean, it's not um, impossible to beat South Africa in the last couple of years. They think they've turned the corner. You know, they've beaten France three times, but hold on a minute. Like, that's not a benchmark, I think, in beating France at the end of their long season at home in South Africa. So I think there's something to prove there. And by all accounts, Aust Australia are in a bad state at the moment. You know, they lost to Scotland. They fell across the line against Italy. Uh, they're probably, for whatever reason, at their weakest at the moment uh, as a, a tri-nation. So, um, the gap is closing, but maybe not because we're getting so much better, but other teams are coming back just a bit, or a bit of both.